Dear friends, we will be discussing the poets of uh, the world. Today we are discussing Pablo Neruda. As everybody knows, Pablo Neruda is one of the well-read poets of the world. He is, of course, second only to William Shakespeare, the greatest poet as well as the playwright. And Neruda, the Pablo Neruda is, of course, uh, it is just a pseudonym. The real name of Pablo Neruda is Neftali Ricardo Reyes Basalto. He took the pseudonym of uh, Pablo Neruda because of his great uh, fondness of the Czechoslovakian poet and writer, John Neruda. And he began to write, Pablo Neruda began to write a lot of poetry from a very early age. As a 10 year old, rather as an 11 year old, he wrote a number of poems and he took all those poems to his parents, his family, and his father was just wondering. He asked him, who wrote all this? And he said, I wrote it. His father could not believe that. Although he, his son, Pablo Neruda, the young boy, wrote such kind of marvelous poetry. His father did not encourage him or support him or just guide him to grow into a great writer. His father discouraged him. And Neruda had a lot of difficulties to grow into a writer. But we have to understand the fact that he used to write a lot. He wrote a lot of poetry and uh, he was ready to sacrifice anything as a young man, as a teenager, to promote himself, to, to promote, to encourage the writer in him. And we'll come back to, of course, the creative life of uh, Pablo Neruda after some time. Before that, let's just look at the uh, other details of uh, Pablo Neruda. As we know that uh, he is uh, the most beloved poet of Chile, Moreover, he is the most beloved poet of uh, people all over the world because of many reasons. One reason, he was a strong supporter of the Communist Party. Another reason, he was an admirer of Joseph Stalin and Fidel Castro. And as he grew up, he became a poet, he became a diplomat, and he became a senator. And along with all these activities he continued writing poetry and uh, his most important title rather his first his most important title is his first publication that is the one i am holding i am just holding it with me 20 love poems and a song of despair it was published in the year 1924 and he was just 23 years old. And the most important poem in this collection, all the poems are love poems. And the most important poem of this collection is, tonight I can write the saddest lines. I'll just recite a few lines from the poem so that we can just remember, enjoy, relish the beauty of uh, the love poetry of Pablo Neruda. Tonight I can write the saddest lines. Write, for example, the night is starry and the stars are blue and shiver in the distance. The night wind revolves in the sky and sings. Tonight I can write the saddest lines. I loved her, and sometimes she loved me too. Through nights like this one, I held her in my arms. I kissed her again, and again, under the endless sky. This beautiful poem is translated into Malayalam by our great poet Balachandra Chulika, and the title is it's so beautiful 
a poem. We are not discussing that poem or any other poem of Neruda in this session. We are concerned with, of course, another extract from the memoir of Abru Neruda. So, as I said, 20 love poems and a song of despair of 1924 is the most significant anthology or collection of Pablo Neruda. Thereafter, he continued to write a lot. He became a senator. He became, of course, uh, a, uh, a diplomat. He traveled far and wide as a diplomat. He came to India as well. And now his second title is Residence on Earth. Third collection is Canto General. And the four, fourth title, another most important title is Pain in My Heart. And now we have to just uh, discuss the autobiographical writing of Pablo Neruda. The autobiographical writing of Pablo Neruda are collected and published in the name, with the name Memoirs. And Memoirs is in fact the life story of Neruda. Neruda shares his experiences as a poet, his experience as a senator, as a diplomat, and there are a number of uh, passages in which he shares his passion for literature. is very, very passionate about poetry. is very, very passionate about language. And uh, there are a number of extracts and passages, passages in his memoir that is, of course, uh, uh, the life story of Neruda, which is titled Memoirs. And we are blessed with one extract which is titled the word and the word the title uh, the, the the extract in this particular memoir is written in the form of uh, uh, a poem and all the other most of the other areas uh, to be very precise three sections of memoirs in uh, are, are published in written in printed in italics and these three sections are about poetry his passion for poetry his uh, great predilection for language, how language just uh, uh, comforts him, consoles him, fills his uh, emotions and his heart, all that is just narrated in three sections. And one such section is the word we are discussing. And the word, it is in fact, a, it's, it's a great praise on poetry. It's a great praise on poetry. He tells us what poetry can do how poets write poetry. This particular article, uh, the extract, the poem, is not just about writing poetry, it's about creativity, it's about literature, it's about how every human being uses language. To be very precise, how poets use language. The eager waiting of uh, poets for the right word to come. They're eagerly waiting. And in this poem, Neruda discusses what a poet, what a writer does with words. How vowels and consonants are used, are converted into words or language. And of course, uh, uh, this poem can take us to many, many years back. This poem will help us understand how language origin the origin we understand the origin of language we understand the uh, civilization human civilization we can discuss the history of mankind we can discuss how language spread far and wide how language from one place just uh, spreads to another place another continent another country so also, this is about uh, the language families, language families, because the poem is about the beauty of words. We shall be discussing in detail the poem, the word, in the next class. Thank you so much for listening.